So about six months ago, I went to my stylist for a cleanup and she was a little bit concerned about my hair. She said it was weak, it was breaking easily. She mentioned I was shedding quite a bit more than she's seen from me in the past and it looked like I was visibly thinning. Obviously, this is not what I wanna hear. I make YouTube videos about how to have healthy hair. I'm supposed to set the standard for how to have healthy hair. Fast forward to present day. Roughly two weeks ago, I went and I saw my hairstylist again for another cleanup because I go roughly every six to 12 months. And she was shocked at how healthy the newer three to four inches of hair growth was compared to the weaker portions of my hair that she had seen previously. She said that all of this new growth was visibly thicker, felt stronger, was much healthier, and my density overall had increased back to normal, which means I was shedding much less and my antigen phases are lasting a lot longer sort of how it should be, and my hair was also growing faster. She was actually shocked because I had grown about three to four inches in about five months. She tried to take a video to show me as best she could how the hair went from being really thick to thin. So I'll put that video up on screen, but it's really, it's, it's kind of hard to see with our primitive iPhone cameras, right? We really need a microscope, something that can zoom in much closer, but nonetheless, she could feel it. And she said that the new strong hair was probably from the last five months of growth. And she had asked if I had changed anything in the last six months that could be having like such a positive effect. And almost exactly six months ago, I started changing up my lifestyle because I wanted to lose some weight. I was getting a little dad bod going on. I was not happy with how I looked physically at all. So I started tracking my macros. I started weightlifting four to five times a week. I started hydrating, drinking tons of water. I cut way back on alcohol intake. I started prioritizing my sleep again. Basically just having good habits and also making sure that I was in a caloric deficit so I could actually lose weight. And over the last five or six months or so, I'm down about 13 pounds. So from those changes, what exactly happened? that made my hair thicker? Was it, was it one thing specifically? Was it a combination of everything? We're about to get into that, but first I do wanna thank today's video sponsor, Tiege Hanley. I have been using Tiege Hanley for over three years now and I have never had better skin. Tiege makes taking care of your skin uncomplicated. They provide you with all the products you need for a great skincare regimen with the latest ingredients, things like peptides for collagen production, hyaluronic acid for better moisture retention. And if you're new to skincare, I would definitely recommend starting with their level one system, which comes with all your basics, right? It comes with a face wash, exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with a sunscreen SPF in it. And it comes with a PM moisturizer with the peptides and the retinols. And to make it even easier for you, they give you this instruction card in every single box that tells you exactly when to use each product, how much to use, is it a nickel size, a dime size, in what order do I use it? So it definitely comes in clutch on those days where you're staring at you know three or four products and you're like, what order do I apply these in? I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, be good just to hold them down by okay. your side, yeah. You don't have to take my word for it because T. Shanley does have over 5,000 five-star reviews from customers all around the globe. And in addition to better skin, members of T. Shanley also get some benefits. If you become a Tiege member, you get 20% off the retail price, you get access to exclusive monthly deals, and then you can pause or cancel at any time. There's no hidden fees or any contracts, and there's free US shipping. Also, because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering you guys a really good deal. So just click the link in the description, you'll get 30% off your first box, plus a free gift. Don't miss out on this amazing deal. Check out the link in the description, get started today. So what exactly made the new growth from my scalp come in thicker and stronger than my mids and my ends. So obviously this isn't a proper scientific study where I controlled for a bunch of variables and you know had multiple subjects and a double blinded, none of that, right? I literally changed so many habits. This is an N of one experiment. And so this conclusion I'm coming to is definitely what I like to call a swag or a scientific wild ass guess. But what I believe and also my hairstylist agrees with this conclusion is that the biggest effect on my hair was that I dramatically increased my protein intake. So before I started tracking my macros, I weighed around 210 pounds. I was getting up there. I'm 6'2", just to let you guys know. But I was only consuming about 120 to 130 grams of protein per 
per day. So that's only, you know, like 0.5 to 0.65 grams per pound of body weight roughly. And when I started tracking my macros and I realized how little protein I was actually consuming, I increased my protein intake to 200 grams of protein per day. I was consistent with consuming this much protein every single day for the last five months. And I went from eating 0.6 grams of protein per pound of body weight to about one gram of protein. So that's like a 40% increase over the next five months. Why do I think that protein was the biggest contributing factor? Well, mainly because our hair is 95% protein, right? It's a fibrous protein called keratin and protein is one of the key nutrients that directly impacts how strong and healthy your hair will grow from your root. It also goes to show that you can eat in a caloric deficit and lose weight and still have really strong hair as long as you know your deficit isn't extreme, as long as you're not starving yourself. I don't think it's surprising that when I increase my protein intake by 40% plus, along with all of the other healthy lifestyle changes that my hair went from being weak and brittle with short antigen phases and high shedding to becoming visibly thicker and higher density with way less shedding. What's the big takeaway from all of this? In my opinion, the biggest takeaway is that healthy hair starts from the inside out. Because keep in mind, I was still using all the highest quality products that I've been using, but because I had a shitty diet and I had poor lifestyle choices, it doesn't even matter. So if you have a poor diet, your roots are not getting the key nutrients that they need and you're already starting your hair growth journey behind. Because once that hair grows past your roots, that's it. Your diet has no more effect on it. It's essentially dead. So you can rub all the highest quality products you want on hair that comes out weak and brittle and it might have a cosmetic shift in your appearance, but it's not changing the root cause, right? In my opinion, you're much better off giving your hair the best start possible by giving it all the nutrients it needs while it's still in your roots and it's still in those antigen phases. So it starts off as healthy and as strong as possible. So that's it guys, let me know in the comments if you agree with my assessment or if you think something else contributed to my hair's health and strength coming back. So don't forget to check out Tej Hanley, the link below, get 30% off your first month and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.